Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Spider Man. Before we get started, you guys know the rules headphones on, volume up, and let the vibes begin. All right, last week, you guys already know you got your Spider Man episode. However, you probably noticed there's not a State of Decay video or a Detroit Become Human video. I was having some technical issues. If you've seen any of the streams last week, you probably know what I mean. I have fixed that. So we are going to be good now. You guys are going to get a longer video for State of Decay some later on this week. It'll actually be earlier, in fact. Same for Detroit Become Human. Instead of doing two chapters, we're possibly going to be doing four or even five to make up for it. So, Spider-Man, since that was uploaded, you know, we're going to just keep doing what we're doing. At Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. There's the stage entrance. And we'll be right out front. All right. Sounds like a lot of people out there. <laughs> You'll be fine, honey. Last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. So? I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this, we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um. Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. <laughs> we all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could... You know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. For acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Oh, uh, bro. Nah, you can't just say it like that. You gotta hang up after you say it. Don't let the other person hang up. It makes the threat less menacing.
Cool. Goodness. Hold on, I'm gonna wait till the cutscene is over before I um, put my input in on something. Miles! <sighs> right here, just stay with me. Thank God. Can you hear me, baby? Can you hear me? Here. Squeeze my hand if you can hear me. Stay here. I'm going to find your father. Peter. Peter, wake up. Come on, say something, please. <sighs> Yeah. Okay, I think the cutscene is somewhat over. Peter is knocked out. But, Mom! but we're only like 20 something percent done with the game, so you know Peter isn't gonna die here. MJ, that her, her like worry, like her like Peter, please squeeze my air when I feel like that's what Peter would do if he ended up like finding MJ in a situation like this. All because she decided to be nosy, but over um there. Was in. Notice how there's already like people like helping other people out, dragging people out and, like this. Why am I talking so fast? <laughs> Loki just makes me happy knowing that a lot of people just didn't really just say, "Yeah, I'm <laughs> forget you guys, I'm leaving." They dragged Peter and Miles to safety, so that's something. Power of physics. Are you okay? Nice going, kid. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you? Are you okay? Come on, okay. Okay. You sure you're okay? Yes, I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna be alright. All right, Lisa. I have to go find Dad. Okay? No, wait, Miles. No. Miles, no! Fine. Dad's in here. I'll find him. Please! Dad's alive. I know it. There's still a good amount of people, like, left alive over here in the blast. See He's that? Right there. Yo! No way! Where do you think you're going? Oh, hold on, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We are back. We are back. Sorry about that. Got a phone call. To the shadows. I can circle around the edge to get past them. And through there. Circle. Oh, right here. Man, I know he want to sneeze, but I don't know. Oh, man, bless you. Thank you, you're welcome. Oh, I'm allergic to violence, it seems. <laughs> well, maybe I'm allergic to survivors. <laughs> Oh man, hold on. Hold on. Alright guys, we're back, we're back. Sorry, I, I had to take a little mini break right there to um I might be allergic to violence, who knows? I just watched a My Little Pony episode. So that was that episode I think where Spike was feeling bad that um why am I even know you know what? 
there's immediately I can already tell the amount of people who just heard me say that. <laughs> but yeah. I don't care what y'all say, my little pony does go different, bro. Uh, uh. But nah, it's like it's allergy season. My nose is killing me. You heard nothing! I do what I want! Let's go! Oh, that dude got wrecked. Okay. <coughs> what am I supposed to do here? No one's dead. No one. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Hold on. Yo, Kyla. Dad was right there. Gotta help him. All right here. I Yo. got you, Dad. What? Have to leave now. Looked like he stuttered for a bit right there while walking. Dad. 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 No! Wake up, Dad. Wake up. Wake up. A week? Bro, it's been a week? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? 
No, I told you I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy! Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up. And that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on me? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. That's true. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Uh, sounds... MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. I could probably do the stuff guys fully. out, then have a look around. What was I gonna tell you guys? Hey, who's saying? There we go. Oh, I didn't see the other guy right there. Am I? He's safe too, so I can just take him down. Oh, right, right, right. That was a, a thing. I'll notice how the police said they're not going to, like, go on a hunch that Spider-Man gave them. They want solid evidence. Note how in, like, um... Oh, boy, he heard that. Great. And I'm being spotted. Notice how, like, in the Arkham games... At least, like, they didn't trust Batman at first. But, like, I feel like if he were to tell um, Commissioner Gordon, Gordon will be like, all right, bet. I'll go check it out with the team. Whereas, you know, Spider-Man, he tells him, nah, you need solid evidence. Like, who else do you know can go fight people who have superpowers and stop these guys? Because I don't think the officers have things that they need in order to take down um. For example, Shocker. I'm just gonna go in here loud. It's time to just start whooping. I forgot about the guy, the big guy. Oh my goodness. And. But yeah, that's like a thing I never really understood. Where Okay, that's all of them. We also have to keep in mind, you know, different universes and whatnot, but still oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. I gotta Maybe if I can I find doing? where it gets its power from. Those right here. Looks like I could override the circuit. I need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. Uh, I need to go somewhere else. All right, cool. But yeah, like, I know Batman... I know it did take him a bit anyway to, like, do that. There. But looks like the I would say still this... Stable. Maybe there's for Spider-Man, this one... By. He should have. He should have at least, there. you know, established something of trust with them. Gotcha. Is he ready? No. What? Another one. Oh, there it is. Cause look at um, for example, the beginning. They were talking about spider call. That's it. 
meaning like they have like their little jokes or whatnot so you think you know she could at least try to help him out and go off of a hunch at least but no it doesn't work like that from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. What else have I not? Yeah, there it is. Lots of high-tech equipment. But everything? This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. On the way over there. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Okay, you see? Right, bro. It was even hesitant right there. That's probably gonna be that one person that's gonna like comment like, Well, my... The difference between Batman and Spider-Man is that Batman is a guy that's like more mature. You don't see Spider-Man going around breaking people's bones. Which you have a point. You you make a very fair point. But consolidated shipping. Oh, and also Batman is a detective or whatnot. And Spider Man is more like he makes his puns and I should try and to do this quietly. But also with style. Well Batman makes puns too. Batman isn't all about the um about being serious. That was that one um guy yeah, where the female villain's name was. And then he was like, You're a woman? And she's like, What is there a problem with that? And he, <laughs> he said he said the hands are justice. <laughs> the hands of justice go for everyone. Can't take that guy down, he's dangerous. I can take that one though. Wait, he was literally. How did no one hear that? All right, he's safe now. Hey, he's also safe. How am I not able to just? Oh, right, you know what? We got snipers though, I gotta um, be careful of them. He's safe. That camera though. I think it was the Batman vs. Superman movie. For anyone who hasn't seen that movie, um, this is actually in the trailer. But if you haven't seen the trailers and whatnot, please just go ahead and skip a little bit up ahead. But... There was a scene where Batman is just like giving people the death penalty, basically. I forgot how to do this stealth strike. Just walk up. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's 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 all I'm gonna say for like anyone who hasn't seen that trailer. 
when it comes to like hero movies i mean i don't mind them as long as they're like you know decent The CG, I'm gonna be honest, the CGI does not have to be like cr like insanely good in order for you to get like a high rating, but don't, don't like, don't try to save money, don't try to like, be like, alright, our budget is one, one billion dollars, let's see if we can make this with only using half of that, like, bro, you guys have, have that large budget for a reason. All right, it's time to start whooping all people. All right, hold on, guys. We'll be right back. All right. Hopefully, hopefully that's the last interruption. Back to whooping on them. Back. He's not out here. Better check inside. Yeah, there's like some hero moves. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say any names because huh. I don't want to be that guy. That is the reason like, a whole bunch of people rides. go and hate on a movie. That's one expensive stuff like tune that. Up. What else can I find around here? But um, here? there's certain movies, both from DC and city. Marvel. I will say just that because they're the only two franchises that really make hero movies. This is bigger than I thought. Uh, they could have did like better with the CGI. An I enjoy the movies nonetheless, though. But they could I feel like they didn't fully utilize some of their budget. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. Oh my gosh! I'm a, I'm a throw this at you. Okay. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. There's more. Oh, there's more. Hey MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Oh, mother lover. Oh, my gosh. That combo was horrible. Okay. I can't, I can't lock on. That's... Oh, come on, man. The trip mine, no, what bomb? Maybe what bomb? Okay. Copy, Silverbird. We're descending to location. There's another one. Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Not great as these guys. Nice entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. 
This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Makes sense since the rally got um, attacked. He's just like, yeah, it's time to bring out the big boys. We're gonna do one more mission, guys. Hey, sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. <laughs> anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Oh, my hey, bro. <laughs> hey, so, these so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Alright. So. Man, I've just been like back-to-back -back, like interruptions today. Peter. Crazy. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. Might help him too. Yeah. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you you don't have to. I know. I want to. Aww. Even though it's not the real reason, but okay. But yeah, back to back um check out Lee's interruptions, office. man. The first like first ones were phone calls. I didn't mind that, but that was that's family. The other the other one though, uh, uh, bro. Don't you guys hate when you order food and then um you put your address in? It's hard to there. not Thanks. know. Thanks, I appreciate it. Like how to get there because it's literally just follow the address, right? Whatever reason, I always have an issue. They'll, every now and then, there'll be someone who... They, they just get lost. And then I have to, like, give them directions. Oh, never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... Do I... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office. Yeah, I'm just... It's weird, because then you gotta, like, give them directions. And then... Sometimes you could just be sitting right outside. You could just watch them drive the by. Space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I oh, thought I Lee's parents that. abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee's uh -huh, there's the key. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. This. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. Ah, oh, great. That seems right. It does. Cool. I got that first try, let's go! Whoa. What are you hiding? Lee? Yeah, I got sidetracked. I kid you not, like, that was the time I ordered Taco Bell, and I was just waiting for it to arrive, and 
Clearly, the homie drove past my house eight times, man. Eight. I was, when I tell you, I was beyond livid. He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, but, um, he needed to pretend to be someone else? He's giving his powers to the others. It was just like, it was just frustrating. With his power. Because I had to work that day too, so I had came shit. back and I was like tired and hungry. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna get something like cheap because I wasn't gonna get paid until the next day anyway. So. Can feel my power growing. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. I think that's all I need actually. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy everything. One more. Is there one? Right there. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Wait, where's the way out? Oh, okay. just back through the door. Through the floor grate. All right, not through the. Okay. Now, yeah, every now and then, like I'll get people who they don't know how to get here, so I have to like walk them through, like go down this street, then take a left or take a right, yada yada yada. It'll be like the first place right here, right here. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I. Thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is... You are both safe. Amen. Yep. The bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. <laughs> as long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Just straight up suspicious all the way around, man. Gone. So him just coming out of that room, he does you automatically know he he really is smart to set that up. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. Skipped over a whole thing of dialogue. Really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. Oh, okay. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. The thing is, they had glowing eyes. 
And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yes. yes. See ya. Dinner. Huh. What should I cook? I'm just trying to find where the next mission is going to be at so I can start making my way over there. Alright, well, I guess it's not going to tell me. So I'm going to pause right there. Alright. We're going to end the video here, guys. I'm going to eat. I'm going to be chilling. I'm going to get these other videos recorded for you guys and uploaded. I'm sorry that I couldn't upload last week, but since we fixed the issue for the majority, for the most part, we should be good to go. So, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will vibe with you guys next time.